And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and figure out our body mass index. So let me see if I can note this. Okay, so our body mass index equals our weight in pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my weight. I'm giving secrets away. Times 703 um, is the number. So I need to take out my calculator and figure out what that is. So you go ahead and take out your calculator and figure out what yours is. All right, so I get a number of 91390 is my number. Now what we need to do is we need to divide that by our height in inches. So I'm 5 foot 11. And so I need to take 5 times 12 plus 11. And so I get 71. And now I need to square that. And so I get... 5041. All right, and so now long division, 913 divided by 5041. So I get 18.12 is my body mass index. So go ahead and write down your body mass index. We'll be using it. And just some numbers here. Um, I'm actually underweight. Uh, my body mass index is underweight. My doctor keeps telling me I need to gain weight, and I'm trying to. Um, the, let's see, the cutoff line is 18.5. So I'm just slightly underweight. Um, and so if you're between 18.5 and 25, you're normal. If you're between 25 and 30, you're overweight. And if you're between 30 and however high, you're obese. Now, for some of you football players, that might be different because you've got a lot more muscle mass. And if you're a runner or all these other things, um, so what I wanted to do, and don't be offended, I wanted to see the statistics in just this room of how many people are obese, overweight, and then normal, and then below weight. So if you don't mind standing, you don't have to if you don't want to. So if you are obese, if you're clinically obese, would you stand up? Be proud. Be proud. Okay, so I would say maybe one twelfth. Very, very small number. All right, so go ahead and sit down. If you're overweight, go ahead and stand up. Come on now, no shame. Okay, I'd say about the same number. All right, how many people fall into the normal category? I'm guessing it'd be most people, which is good. Because statistically, this would say that is the average. Go ahead and sit down. And there, how many other people like me are underweight? Way to go. Way to go. So we see statistically that the normal range is the majority of what we have here that we've got.
Uh oh. It's it, it's right there. It's right there. Okay. So what I wanted to do is actually this is a um, this is a video that will go through that the Centers for Disease Control has been keeping statistics of obesity in the United States since it looks like 1985. And so this is just going to go through color coding each one of the states to see um, the statistics there. Now let me go ahead and describe a little bit of what you're seeing. The color here that you see, this is not their body mass index number. This is the percentage of people in the state who have a BMI greater than 30. So these are people who are in the obese category that we have. And so you can see um, the white there would be no data, nobody's collecting anything, and uh, they give a few other statistics there. And let me go ahead and open this up because I have to open up a, it in a web browser. Maybe this will work. No. Let's do this. There we go. So you can see here that on the average, the Midwest has 25 to 30 percent of its population that is over that is obese. Um, it looks like I'd like to live in Colorado. They always seem to be behind them on everything else, or in Hawaii there. Um, and so another statistic: um, Indiana, the state of Indiana. We are the ninth fattest state in the country. And so you can see that obesity really is a problem in the United States. Um, and if you look at the dates there, as we're reading through this book, Fast Food Nation, and, they, and when he pops out some dates about the number of fast food um, places in the United States, see if you can correlate it to what you saw here as the number of people who are obese increased. Um, I'm not saying that I would ever be able to say that there is a direct correlation between the number of fast food places and the obesity in America. It's a very complex issue. But it, it's really interesting that it could be one of the factors that is causing um, the United States to become this obese. So let's talk about our food. Um, in America, most of us have no clue how our food is made, where our food comes from. We just simply go to the grocery store and we'll pick up some beef. We won't pick up a cow, we won't pick up um, Betsy the cow, we won't, we'll just pick up just this meat. It's just an abstraction, an idea that we get cellophane, cellophane wrapped. Um, it's healthy for us, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it, it's a good thing to eat. Um, but we're abstracted from that. You know, where does our food actually come from? How is our food made or processed before it gets to us or before it gets to be cellophane wrapped in, uh, at your grocery store? Um, and what's in our food? The, in the past 30 years, what we eat as Americans has changed dramatically. Um, the food looks like what we've been eating, but the way it's made, the way it's processed, and what's in it has changed dramatically. And then also, can you cook besides SpaghettiOs? Can you cook without a microwave? Um, in the past 30 years, we've lost that ability. Most of us don't know how to cook. And so what is 